Hi everyone. Today's guided draw will be an insect, and this insect is a bee. I thought because we did flowers last week, that's a perfect time to draw the bee. The bees are important for all of our plants and flowers because they help pollinate and make them grow nice and big. As always, I have my piece of paper and my writing utensils. My pencil I use for my name and the word. And today I will be using black for the outline and part of the bee, and then yellow for the other part of the bee. We start by putting our names in the top left-hand corner. First step, I'm going to draw the body of my bee. In the middle of my page, I will draw an oval. Next step, I'm going to add the head from the front of the body. I'm going to draw a circle and color the circle in. Just like that. Bees have wings that are transparent. That means that you can see through them. I'm going to add two wings to the top of my body that cross over each other to help show that they're transparent. Next, I'm going to add stripes to my bees' bodies. They're kind of like rectangles and you can space them out, making a pattern, leaving one section white, then a stripe that is black, another section that is white, a stripe that is black. I will be coloring in the other sections with my yellow crayon. So you go across the body. I will add four stripes to mine. We'll add some antennas to the back, to the B. They come out of the top of the head like that. And a round circle at the ends. Next, just a little point for a stinger coming out the bottom of the B. Before I color in the B, I'm going to stretch out the word B. I can hear the B. And if I stretch it all out, B. E. I can hear the letter E saying its name. And for the word B, E is in the word twice. To finish off my B, I can color in the other sections of the B's body. I'm using yellow for mine, but remember if you don't have yellow at home, you can use whatever colors you have. There we go. Thanks for joining in today. I can't wait to see the great work that you've done.